All right, we got the 2025. This is a little pre-reveal. This is just what we know so far. Um, the full reveal from Skidoo, I believe, is tomorrow, 22nd. Today is the 21st. And uh, just been digging through a lot of info here. And the biggest thing that I see that I like, at least so far, is um, we've got a taller front spindle called the Raz RX. And um, there's also some revised geometry, I believe, with the uh, both the upper and lower control arm, which is um, is nice. You know, Skidoo's always working on the front end, and um, it's going to be interesting to see how this new front end um, geometry and taller spindle uh, handle, how it changes things as far as um, the front end feel. Next up is the new ski. Now this, for me, um, a guy who rides tight twisty trails, um, this is really a, a nice thing to see. Skidoo finally is going to a single keel ski. Um, it's on the left side there in the picture um, compared to the uh, Pilot X ski that we have now. Um, I, you know, it remains to be seen how well it works, but I think any single keel ski is probably going to be more precise in, um, in softer conditions and sharp turns compared to the Pilot X. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, really happy to see a new set of skis from BRP. Next up is the um, information I've been seeing and reading about the front end um, shocks on the competition package. So this is the uh, 850R Turbo, obviously two-stroke um, competition package. It um, now will be available with smart shocks this year. Um, or for 2025. The interesting thing here is I believe you can still get it with the Kashima coated Pro 40s if you want it that way. But, um, you know, a lot of guys like the Smart Shocks and they do really work well because you can go further on the extremes with the stiffness and the softness further away from the, the three adjustments on the non Smart Shock package. Um, so for guys that are buying this sled, you know, you might just want all the bells and whistles. So I, I guess it is a nice addition that Skidoo is going to give you the smart shocks on the competition package. And that in conjunction with the, the new Raz RX taller spindle and the revised geometry on the uh, front end and I believe you know new upper control arm new lower control arm everything is revised up front I think it's probably going to be really dialed in for 2025. Some pretty cool news here is uh, uh, Renegade updates um, both the um, XRS and now the X have the four piston caliper um, so that's great for break breaking. And, um, also the X and the XRS now have the heated seat standard, it looks like, and the visor plug standard. All right. When it comes to the MXZ, this is the uh, X package here, uh, under what's new. They're showing the Raz RX front suspension, Pilot RX skis. 10.25 inch touchscreen display with BRP Connect and built-in GPS. Built-in GPS! Finally! Finally! Also now available on select Rotax 600R E-Tech engine config. High performance four piston caliper. So that's huge. I'm sorry, but that is huge. You guys know I'm a tech guy. I love my GPSs. To finally put a GPS antenna built into that beautiful 10.25 gauge and not have to hook up an iPhone or a smartphone anymore, that's big news. Woohoo! They finally caught up to the Polaris 7S gauge after all these years. 
And one of the uh, other last things that I'm seeing that it's been updated is um, BRP is listening. Guys were not happy with the, the way the switch gear interacted with your handlebar heaters and your thumb heater. So they've updated the heater functioning. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but um, it's being talked about. We'll probably know more in depth tomorrow on that. It looks like you're going to be able to adjust your hand and thumb warmer separately, possibly, um, and just it's going to be probably better than it was for 2023 and 2024. Okay, now for me, this is a big thing. Um, nobody's really talking about this, but I'm seeing some pictures of a Renegade XRS 900R. So now this is the four-stroke. This is the turbo, and it's uh, yellow. Now, you know, the Renegades for several years have only come in black or that silver and red kind of color, which which is nice. But I don't know. I was getting a little sick of that. I, I'm glad. It, to me, it looks like uh, they're going to have a yellow for the XRS and in the four-stroke, uh, the Renegade. I think that's awesome. You know, Skidoo's really got to... I, I think they should always have a yellow color available um, in every kind of model in their line. I just think, you know, it's, it's yellow is in their DNA. They should always have that. I, I would love to see more customization kind of like Polaris does, but I know that's really tough on the uh, the logistics end of things, and Skidoo probably doesn't want to go that way. But um, I'd like to see yellow as a standard color and not an added amount of money. And uh, everything else I got here is just going to be your um, basically your mountain sleds. For 2025, I'm not uh, super good with the uh, mountain stuff. I'm a Flatlander, but I do see they have this cool new uh, bag uh, that kind of sits on the front. Looks like it's called an extension bag, 4.8 liter capacity, USB openings, waterproof zip, zipper, I guess, uh, phone pocket, warm from under hood, easy to install. And um, there's some pretty cool pictures of it. And uh, I guess for those mountain guys, this is probably just awesome. Look, look at how big it is. I mean, the thing looks quite large inside. Not sure what other accessories they've got for the mountain guys, but um, I'm sure there's, there's lots of accessories, just like every Skidoo has tons of accessories, as you guys know. So I've got some uh, just some random pictures here going through of the, uh, there's a Summit X there. Um, that also looks like a Summit X and, um, man, the color, the colors are just awesome for the, uh, the mountain guys. It looks like another Summit X. Never have rode a mountain machine myself, but I do watch all of Muskoka Freerider videos. <laughs> He's actually, uh, he actually lives very close to where my cottage is. And um, Matt's an awesome guy. He puts together probably some of the, the best mountain footage on the planet. So uh, big shout out to him. Check out his YouTube page, Muskoka Freerider. And uh, get your, uh, your fix for your, your mountain video riding craziness. It's just awesome. So that's about it, guys. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to get something out early for the 2025s before the actual official release from BRP. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be some other little tidbits that uh, we don't know. So um, keep tuned to the uh, BRP website. I believe it's tomorrow, the full reveal. I'm not sure if they're doing a full live stream or not this year but uh, maybe they will we'll see and uh, have a great season guys take care please subscribe like leave a comment let me know what you guys are going to be riding next year let me know if you guys are going to buy a new sled for next year because there's a lot of us looking at the prices of these new sleds and uh literally no snow at least around here we've we've rode like twice so far 
So it's pretty hard to justify buying a new one when you only put two or 300 miles on in a season. All right, guys. Have an awesome winter, remaining of the winter, and don't forget to like, subscribe, leave some comments. See you later. Bye-bye.